hello everyone what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is vivian i'm a minina based in cameroon i'm the creative director of vimos and vice ways so in today's video we'll be looking at some of the necessary tools in which we can kickstart our millinery business come 2023 if you're that person who is wanting to start up a millinery business come 2023 this video is for you. So in my last sit down video, we discussed on some of the tips in which we can start up our millionaire business with little or no capital. And in that video, I made mention of personal savings, borrowings, um, affiliate marketing, drop shipping, and all the ways. If you haven't watched that video, please scroll down my videos and watch that video it will help you if you want to start up your millinery business come 2023 those tips might help you and if you're there and you're already saved and you're looking for some of the necessary tips some of the necessary tools you can get on a budget to start up your millinery business come 2023 then this video is for you so first on my list is we have our sewing machine and this is the blackhead sewing machine. This one is uh, much more affordable. But if you have the money to get a bigger one, please go ahead and get your bigger sewing machine. This is what most of us started with. So you can go ahead and buy your blackhead sewing machine. And uh, you also need your threads. You need your threads. You need your measuring tape. This is the measuring tape. You need your machine oil and you also need this um, thread, this twine thread. The tr this thread, you use it in sewing shoe. I use it to make my running stitch or gather or gathers. This thread comes in handy. I use it a lot. In most of my videos, this is the thread I use to make my running stitch or um, gathering my turban cap. So I use this thread a lot. You also be needing, you be needing your your fishing line. This is the fishing line. You be needing your fishing line. You be needing your thread, like I mentioned. You also be needing your office pins. You be needing office pins. Your chalk. You also be needing your cutter. This cutter comes in handy. Please try and get it. You also be needing your bobbin. You need your bobbin and all that. You also need the machine needle and you need your machine needle. We also be needing our safety pins. We need our safety pins. This also comes in handy. Please, if you try and get it, try and get all these things. If you're starting up 2023, all this comes in handy. And also, We'll be needing our door head if you're making to sell you will need this to sample and advertise your product your turban cap or fascinator you need this okay so if you can if you can't get the bigger one this is the bigger one okay if you can't get the bigger one you can get the smaller one the smaller one is much more affordable okay most of us started with this, then we moved to this and now we've got the bigger one, okay? So you can go ahead and get a, your small door head if you're looking forward um, to selling either the turban or the fascinator. Get this to sample your products, okay? Let's put this down. Okay, you'll be needing your needles and uh, you also be needing your ruler. You'll be needing a ruler like this, okay? You need a ruler like this. These rulers, they are very necessary. They are very important. We use this to um, shape out something, okay? Or if you want to make lines, you this comes in handy. Please get a ruler. And uh, we'll be needing our scissors. We'll be needing our scissors. And also, we'll be needing this is this scissors. This is a normal scissors we use in cutting our fabric. 
and uh, I also have this one. This is the pinking shell. The pinking shell, the zigzag scissors. This one is optional, but if you can get it, fine. This one too, you can use it to cut out. Like there are some designs you want to make, you use the scissors to cut it out. Okay. This one too, if you can get it, fine. And uh, I'll put this back. And also, we'll be needing our candle gum. This is the bigger candle gum, and this is the smaller candle gum. And we'll also be using, needing the candle gum stick. The candle gum stick. We'll be needing the candle gum stick. Okay, so this comes also in handy. If you can't get the bigger one, please go ahead and get the smaller one. Okay, go ahead and get the smaller one. Because you will need this to 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 you will need this a lot. You will need this candle gum a lot. So please go ahead and get it. Also, we'll be needing this. Um, this is a soldering iron. This soldering iron. This is optional, okay. But if you can get this, it will save you a lot and a lot of stress, okay especially when you're dealing with a chocolate fabric or when you want to cut out patterns to make out your design this comes in handy remember this is optional but if you can get it it's it's not it's not that expensive it's not expensive it's cheaper than you know because if you can get this it will save you a lot of stress and we also have our b7000 or you can go ahead and get the b6000 okay this B7000 or B6000 comes in handy when we want to um, um, glue our our pearls, our stones to our turban cap. If you don't want to, if you don't want stains all over your your your, your turban cap, this comes in handy. This is optional, okay? This is optional. But if you can get it, it will also save you a lot of stress. Also, I have my pins here. This paint, <laughs> this paint, I use it a lot, especially when I'm uh, molding my fascinator. Okay, I use this paint. Um, sorry, I mean when I want to embellish my fascinator or when I want to hold something down, I use this paint to hold it down. We we'll also be needing our rose. This is a satin rose. These ones are optional. You can just get them any sizes you want. You can get this one. These ones are used for embellishment. We also have these feathers right here. They have feathers like this. These feathers are used for embellishment. Okay. The feathers are used for embellishment. These ones too are optional. Okay. These ones too, they are optional. So that you can go ahead and get this and just keep it in it comes in handy okay these things comes in handy just go if you have all the money you can buy them in packs and just keep and uh, use and embellish your work we also have the alice band we have the alice band the bigger one and the smaller one okay this one we mostly use it for our fascinators you use this for fascinators or you can also use it to make your headband your headband that's the head beaded headband and all the rest you can use it you can use this alice band to do that we have our pearls here we have our pearls here okay these ones are optional too we have our pearls our stone to embellish our work we have that to embellish our work and we also have this um, co um what's the name this plier we have this plier to cut out our millinery wire okay we have this plier to cut out our millinery wire and we have our millinery wire here this is the millinery wire and remember when it comes to millinery wire we have the flexible millinery wire and we have the 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 stronger millinery wire okay we have the flexible millinery wire and we have the stronger one okay 
So they they have their uses. They have their uses. So maybe subsequently in this channel we'll discuss, we'll go into details about luminary wires. I will also have this wire right here. This wire, so this is one, I don't know the, the exact name, but this one is thin, very thin and very flexible. You just hold it like this, it just bends, okay? This one will, I mostly use this for embellishments, okay? I mostly use this for embellishment. This one is optional, okay? This one is optional. And we also have our boning. We have this thin boning. And we have this other one. This one is about a quarter inch, a quarter inch boning, okay? And we have this thin one. And we also have our molds. We have our molds right here. Can you see this? We have these molds right here. These molds are sold in the market. So you can go ahead and get your mold. It comes in various shapes and also in various sizes. Okay? It comes in various shapes and various sizes. Go ahead and get the sizes you want or the shapes you want. Okay? This mold comes in handy. Please, if you're looking forward to starting your luminary business next year, please try and get your mold. Even if it's just one, it comes in handy. Okay? And also, we we'll also be needing, we we'll also, this, this mold, this, um, this is already molded fascinated. If you can't get the mold, like the mold, you can go ahead and just buy your already molded fascinator. These ones are sold like this in the market. They are sold like this in the market. Or you can go ahead and buy this and you can only embellish and sell. Okay? I will also have this, um, this is our paper tape. This paper tape. We have this paper tape. This is what, if you have been watching my video, this is what I normally use to tape my luminary wire. After I have cut out, I, this is what I use to join them together. This is the paper tape. And we we'll also be needing our cinnamon. Okay? Our cinnamon, this cinnamon, we we'll use it for molding. Okay? We we'll use our cinnamon for molding. I will also have the paper, uh, this mat right here. This mat here. You can also use the mat for molding. So you also be needing this. You'll be needing this. Okay. You'll be needing this to for we'll be needing that for molding. I will also have our thumbpins. This thumbpins right here. We have our thumbpins. We have our thumbpins. And this we we'll use it to, to hold our mats in place. Our mat or cinnamon when moving, we use it to hold it in place and we have our stiffener. This, I use the Durabond stiffener. This is what I use uh, to stiffen my cinnamon or fascinator. I've been using this for a very long period of time and it, uh, it has been working for me. So but you can go ahead and get your regular stiffener for for, you, and you can go ahead and get your regular stiffener to use and stiffen your your fascinator. Okay. Also, we have uh, this spray bottle right here. We have this spray bottle. This spray bottle comes in handy. This is optional. Okay. I use this a lot, especially when I'm molding uh, my cinnamon or when I want to iron my cinnamon. This comes in handy. Uh, if you, we also have our spray, guys, this spray will save you from a lot of stress. If you can get this spray, fine. Please go ahead and get this spray. But if not, this is optional. But this spray will save you from a lot of stress. It will save you from a lot of stress. This one so come optional, okay? And uh, 
we'll also be needing our oho gum. This is the oho gum. We all know this. And the, our trimmings. Trimmings right here. We have the trimmings. We have also our bias. This is our bias tape. This is the bias. We have our bias here. And we have this shining ribbon here. The shiny ribbon. We have these other ones too. We also have our petashen here. This is our petashen. This is our petashen ribbon. This is the larger one. This one is about the one inch. Okay. And this one is uh, about the quarter inch. And we have our brush. This brush. This is what I use to stiffen my fascinator. We also have this elastic. We have this elastic. This elastic, um, we we'll use it for our fascinator too. We we'll use this for our fascinator. We also have this other one, the one inch elastic. We also have this one inch elastic. All of these, we use it, we use them for our fascinator, okay? We we'll also have our embellishment. These ones are for embellishing your turban cap or your fascinator or whatever. We use this we also have this brush here then also we have our crinoline this is a three inch three inches crinoline the smaller crinoline and uh, we have the larger crinoline this is the larger crinoline and we also have this petrol tape the petrol tape okay we have this petrol tape this one we use it for our ashoki our uh, yes ashoki if you're making your auto dream okay so this is my pattern and this pattern i i have a lot of it yes i use this i always draft things like this and it comes in handy for me okay so this business is all about creativity okay you need to think out of the box okay you just have to be creative you just have to be creative if you want to stay in this business and this is Marco okay and our Marco we also need we'll be needing our Marco but that one is optional okay that one is optional you use that Marco to make our Zara cap okay we we'll use it to make our Zara cap and also we'll be needing our this is our fiber We'll be needing our fiber, we'll be needing our fiber, and we'll also be needing our foam, okay? We'll be needing our foam, and this is about a quarter inch foam. Last but not the least, we'll be needing our wadding. This is the lighter wadding, and uh, this one is a little bit thicker, okay? This is a little bit thicker, and this one is light, okay? So that is all that is basically all we'll be needing to kick start our millinery business that is all we'll be needing to kick start our millinery business remember that you can't you you if you don't have all the money to get all you don't need to kill yourself okay just get the ones you can get and start the most important thing is about that is all about starting your business okay the most important thing is all about starting your business if you can't get all of this just that little you have use it and start up your business then subsequently you can be picking it you can start getting it one after the other okay so remember that nothing should hold you down okay if you want to start up that business come next year now is a time for you to prepare yourself prepare your mind prepare your psychology okay and go for that business okay it doesn't matter how you started but what matters is how your aim what matters is uh, your your determination what matters is your ambition and i tell you that if you start little by the time you know it, you will have all your materials 
without even without 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 you have all your materials <laughs> it, it will be so surprising you have all your materials okay but just start with that little you can get so with this we have, we have come to the end of this video i hope you find this video helpful if you do please give it a thumbs up and also if there's something i did not mention which are very important or which are which are the basis uh, which are the basic tools needed to start up a millionaire business please go ahead and drop it at the comment section okay drop it at the comment section too so that others too can also learn others too can, might also know and with this we've come to the end of this tutorial this video if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and also if you're so if you are a returning subscriber thank you and if you are new to my channel go ahead and subscribe to this family okay thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video stay blessed